Okay. okay. This question is from Linda. Mm -hmm. And she's asking about experiencing fear when she's in physical pain. Yep. She says, for myself, I find that the biggest block is probably that I still want instant gratification. Mm -hmm. In other words, I pray about the condition, ask for assistance, touch on it, mm -hmm. and very quickly bow out as it's too hard. Mm -hmm. I've only ever managed to get all the way through the fear to a healing with regard to physical pain twice so far, and each time it has taken several hours to get there. But I often tell myself that I don't have the time right now or I'm too tired right now mm -hmm. and then take a Panadol, mm -hmm. so I don't even try. Yeah. What's going on? Well, it's quite simple what's going on really. Um, there's not much humility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in other words, she doesn't want to feel all of her own emotions. And in particular, she doesn't want to face her addictions. So, so the problem of wanting instant gratification is all about addiction. And she wants instant gratification when it comes to physical pain. So in other words, she wants the pain to immediately disappear. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everyone on the planet's like that. That's why, you know, pain, pain relief industries are huge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pharmaceutical companies are all about pain relief, right? Most of them. Yeah. And as a result, they are huge enterprises on the planet because mm -hmm. the average person on the planet wants to have instant gratification to avoid pain, particularly physical pain. You see, I find it quite interesting too that the majority of us are willing to avoid emotional pain but not willing to avoid physical pain. No, sorry, not willing. So, yeah, we're, sorry. well, what I mean by, this, by that is this. Yeah. Emotional pain, we want to ignore. Yes. We, we want to remain in denial of it. Yeah. We don't understand that this emotional pain, when we deny it, causes physical pain. Yes. Another layer of pain. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, for Linda... You need to bear in mind, Linda, you've got your emotional pain. Your denial and suppression of your emotional pain causes your physical pain, yep. right? And you wanting instant gratification to make this physical pain go away by taking a Panadol or some kind of relief, pain relief, is an indication that you do not want to feel the physical pain. But it's also an indication that you do not want to feel the physical pain itself, I'm saying, yes. is an indication you do not want to feel the emotional pain. Yes. So you've got a number of problems. Mm -hmm. You don't want to feel the emotional pain, and as a result, physical pain gets created. You don't want to feel your physical pain, or you want it to go away very rapidly, so you take a Panadol. Now, when are you ever going to get to your emotional pain if you keep doing this? Never is the answer. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get to it. Now, when you arrive in the spirit world, you're not going to be able to take a Panadol for your physical pain. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel it. You're going to need to feel it. So why, why wouldn't you choose to start feeling it now? Why wouldn't you choose to start going through the feeling of it? And the reason is because you don't want to feel your emotional pain. <laughs> so there's a number of layers of problems here. Yeah. The layer of problem is, firstly, there's an addiction to avoid emotional pain. And then on top of that, there's an addiction to avoid the result of suppressing emotional pain, which is the physical pain. The physical pain is the result of suppressing the emotional pain, and you have an addiction to suppressing even the physical pain. Mm -hmm. In other words, you want nobody to tell you ever, including all of God's laws, to tell you ever that you've got a problem emotionally. Yeah. The physical pain is telling you you've got a problem emotionally and you're not facing it. You're not facing it. And with the location of the pain is telling you what it's about. Yeah. You know, so if it happens to be in your tummy period time or, you know, then it's telling you you're avoiding some sexual issues or emotional issues about being a woman or mm -hmm. like stuff like that. If it's, if it's a headache pain, it tells you you're probably avoiding grief. You're trying to shut down your grief and suppress your grief. That's why you're in the physical pain. And, and a person who's using physical substances to avoid physical pain has also got this other layer going on, which is they're, they're using, the, the physical pain is present because they've already used emotional things, emotional addictions to avoid emotional pain. Yeah. And that's why they've got the double layer mm -hmm. happening. Now, I can't ever see such a person getting from their physical pain to their emotional pain unless they first have a willingness to go through their physical pain without having an avoidance of it. Yeah. 
because the physical pain is a direct result of avoiding the emotional pain. So, so it's almost like I avoid the emotional pain, so I create the physical pain, and then I want to deny that I created it by going away and getting a substance that helps me avoid the fact of my, that it's my own creation. Mm -hmm. So this is an indication too that there's no responsibility being taken for what you are creating for yourself. Yeah. You're not seeing the link between your emotions and the physical pain, the suppression of your emotions and the physical pain, and you're not seeing also that every time you suppress your physical pain using a substance, you're actually avoiding the entire process of acknowledgement of what's really going on inside of your soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a fairly hard, like, a, like it's very difficult for a person who's doing such things to ever get close to God mm -hmm. as a result. Mm. And obviously it's going to be very frustrating for those people yeah. because they're in avoidance on a number of levels. Mm. Yeah. So that's what's going on. And what's the alternative that well, Linda has? Well, the alternative is firstly, let's work backwards. Yep. The alternative is seeing the physical pain as a direct result of the suppression of emotional pain. That's the first awareness that needs to occur. And if you willingly feel the physical pain, you'll know where it is. And therefore, there's a fairly good chance you understand what emotion is driving it. Mm -hmm. right? Once you start feeling the emotion that's related to that, you, that you've purposely been suppressing, mm -hmm. then the physical pain will actually disappear. Mm -hmm. You'll feel the emotional pain and the physical pain will disappear. That's the reward of allowing the physical pain, the, the emotional pain to be felt. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to feel that. Now, if the physical pain does not disappear, then you're not feeling the emotion that caused it. Yeah. The physical pain will always disappear if you feel the emotion that caused it. And when I say feel the emotion that caused it, feel the suppression of the emotion that caused it. Because physical pain is always the result of suppression, resistance to the emotion. Mm -hmm. It's not the result of feeling an emotion. No. Yeah. Mm. So what I do myself is I feel the physical pain and then I realize, ah, no, I'm still suppressing that emotion. And I still allow myself to feel about the emotion and the, whatever the emotion is. So like a few nights ago, I woke up with this feeling about, you know, how disapproved of I am by my father. And I allowed myself to feel that emotion. And my pain in my lower tummy, which has always been with me ever since I can remember, mm -hmm. I've had it all my life, I still, still have it occasionally, still now. Mm -hmm. And it's been there all the time and constant pain mm -hmm. all the time. It disappeared for about 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So oh, now I know I'm on the right track. Mm -hmm. My physical pain disappears. That tells me that I'm now on the right track for this emotion. Yeah. And while I allow myself to feel that emotion, that physical pain will lessen or disappear completely. Great. So that's what I would do. Yep. So you can experiment with that. You can yeah. go, okay, I'll feel this emotion. No, that didn't work. You know, my pain's still <laughs> there. Well, obviously it's not the emotion yeah. and so forth. So this is a beautiful system that God has created. It's a beautiful system because it gives you complete feedback about what's going on inside of you. Yeah. And this is a fantastic thing about everything God has done, is you have right at, your, right at this moment, right now as you're listening to this, each one of you has and are, are being given messages. You are being given messages at this moment about what is wrong, what is going on inside of you, what emotions you're suppressing, the pain in your body, Wherever that is, is telling you where the emotions are and what, what is being suppressed. Mm -hmm. And if you just allow yourself to feel it, you'll probably discover the emotion you're suppressing if you allowed it. Yeah. Most don't allow it. And so what they do is suppress that, then the pain comes, and then they suppress that. And if you suppress that, you are in the process of complete denial of the emotional experience and the physical experience. Now, like, you're never going to be close to God doing this, mm -hmm. but also you're never going to be happy doing this and you'll never have any real relief, permanent relief from your physical condition. And you'll be reliant, you'll become reliant on drugs in order to suppress your physical condition and your physical pain. And most people on this planet are now completely reliant on drugs until they die yeah. as a result uh, of these things occurring. And, of course, that's not the way God intended our life to be. 
but unfortunately it's the way that we've created our life to become through our choice to suppress. Mm -hmm. Our choice firstly to suppress our emotion and then of course on top of that the choice to suppress the physical results of suppressing our emotion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, would talk, I, I would suggest to Linda, you really need to have a good look at how the human soul functions, right? The, taking this course of action is a result of fear. Mm -hmm. you, you, you are living in fear here, taking these actions. You are afraid of pain and you are also afraid of the underlying emotion that's caused your pain. Mm -hmm. And my suggestion is to allow yourself to work your way through your fears about pain and the causes of it mm -hmm. and to start to acknowledge the truth about how God's designed your soul and to see physical pain as a result of your own resistance. Yeah. Your physical pain is a direct result of your own resistance. Mm -hmm. To see the linkage between those two things and take responsibility for that. Yeah. That will help you greatly to discover what the emotional thing is inside of you that you are suppressing that causes your physical pain. Mm. So it's a great way of finding out the truth about what's going on inside of you emotionally. Mm. Mm.